Well, hello, YouTube friends. Welcome back to my channel. And if you happen to be new here, welcome to the paint itself. If you watched my last video, you know that I got this inspiration painting from the thrift store and I got it for $3.25, which was an amazing deal. So the colors in the painting have really inspired me to do basically my whole house for spring and summer in all of these colors. Now, there are so many colors in the painting. It's almost every color is in the painting, but they're very earthy, very natural, and each of the colors are very indicative of French country style. So the piece we're going to be refinishing also came from that same thrift store haul as the painting. I got this piece for $2.99. So it was very inexpensive. And I know a lot of times when you watch people do makeover such as myself, you see that they're using all of these really expensive paints. I happen to have just purchased DIY paints. They are relatively expensive, especially for the eight ounce containers, but you can use Waverly chalk paint that you can find at at Walmart actually I think a small one is a dollar 67 you can get larger sizes or you can get oops paint from Lowe's or Home Depot and you can usually get a quart for about two dollars and fifty cents add plaster of Paris to that or some people use baking soda or other things to make their own chalk paint so you can do these same techniques and use in it more inexpensive paint and still get the same result I've been doing it for years I just started to try this more expensive paint so you can definitely do all of these techniques using different paints and in a future video not so far away I'm going to be comparing all of the different chalk paints or at least several of them so with all that being said let's get into the video I hope you enjoy this thrift store makeover and I really hope that you like this new paint tutorial technique that I'm about to share I love all of the colors in this beautiful painting. They are soft and natural, yet still somewhat vibrant. This is the pedestal that I thrifted for $2.99. You can see it needs cleaned and it has chips in the resin. I do love the gold on here and that will look great peeking through the new paint. As always, I'm using Crud Cutter Gloss Off to clean the surface and prepare it for paint. These are my go-to brushes for all of my projects. The angled shortcut brush is available at Home Depot and the two inch chip brush is available almost anywhere. For the first layer, I used Debbie's DIY clay-based chalk paint in the color Bohemian Blue. These paints are highly pigmented and they are reactivated easily with water for easy wet distressing. I wanted good coverage for the base coat, but I also wanted to leave a lot of the gold exposed. After the first coat of paint dried, I layered a second coat on in the color Fancy Farm Girl. I left a lot of the bohemian blue and the gold exposed.
For the next coat, I repeated the same process using the color Farm Fresh. Next, I did a layer of the color Queen Bee. I used a wet paper towel to distress the entire piece, rubbing through all of the paint layers. Next, I added a layer of weathered wood. If you want the chippy, aged, worn patina, you have to go through this layering process to create what should look like decades of different paint colors showing through. After that coat dried, I decided to go back over the entire piece with more Fancy Farm Girl and Farm Fresh. And once again, I used a wet paper towel to wet distress the pedestal, focusing mainly on the raised areas.
I love using this decorative glaze by Rust-Oleum in the color Java Brown on almost all of my projects. It adds depth and gives that aged appearance. I decided that I wanted to add a few highlights. I found this Oops Paint at Lowe's for $2.50. The color is Cold River and it is a flat finish. You could certainly stop painting at any stage in this process if you're happy with the look that you have. I just wanted to bring in a touch of that sky color that's in the painting to the pedestal. After that, I went back over the entire thing with a second layer of the glaze. And when this was totally dry, I took it outside and I sprayed it with a clear matte enamel, but you can use any top coat that you prefer. And here is the final look. I absolutely love all of these colors together. The detail of the pedestal really came to life, and I think that it truly looks like it took years to create this patina, but you can do it in just a couple of hours. And here it is in bright daylight. Here's also a hint at my next video. I hope you'll come back and join me for that one. I hope you enjoyed this video and that it inspires you to recreate your home decor using this DIY patina finish. Please like this video if you did, leave a comment below, share it with your friends and consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.